Yep, looks like another gorgeous day out. So if any of you live in California just loving this right now, just laughing at us, just thinking this is hilarious, yeah, it's really funny. Okay, back inside, this is better. Although it's still a little chilly in here, but it won't be for long because today's workout is gonna be a high intensity resistance training and cardio workout. So make sure that you have a variety of dumbbells and we're just gonna get going right away here. So this is your format for this morning. You've got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest in between to switch your weights if you need to or just get ready, grab some water, whatever you need. It's gonna be fast paced people, so let's get ready to move daily. All right, do it. Hey, here's a sneak peek of everything that you're in for today. shoulder width apart let's just start with some squats here okay nice quick warm-up if you've ever clicked the card above when I said hey if you haven't done a warm-up click the card this is that warm-up so if you want to bypass it if you've already done your warm-up go ahead and jump right to the number below there but I thought I would throw this one in here this is our typical warm-up that I do when I am um, training clients it's a good way to get the heart rate up and get the joints and muscles all ready for the action. All right, so that was 10 plie squats. Go into a split squat here. We're gonna do 10 per side here. I know I like this warm up. It's just a good functional way to get the blood flowing and get our legs ready for the action without too much impact. Switch legs here and drop her low. Good. So basically 10 squats, 10 plie. 10 split squats, and then at times, next round, we're gonna add a little jump here. All right, back to the regular squats. So this time on these, you're gonna add a little hop over right here if you can. If not, stick with the regular squat, that's fine. Five more. Three, two, and one. Let's take it wide, plie. Knees track out over the toes for 10 here. Whew. Looks good. All right, in three, two, and one. One in front, one behind. Little pelvic tilts here. Drop low for 10. That's it. Yeah, I can't believe that we had another snowstorm. We all thought spring was coming because snow was starting to melt, but nope, that was a lie. Switch legs and drop. So I'm not sure where you live, if it's sunny and warm and glorious. Um, Trey jealous, but um, here not so much, as you saw at the beginning. Oh well. All right, back to the last round here. We're gonna jump this out this time for 10. We're gonna jump our plies out as well. In five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out for a second. Get any lactic acid gone. All right, nice and wide for 10 here. Jump for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last lunge, stationary lunge, and drop for 10. Good, 
five more here four three two all right switch sides last ten here so I've got a couple of new moves for you today they're new for me so maybe they're not new for you but I'm looking forward to them every circuit's gonna be 30 seconds 15 seconds in between as I said all right that's it and we're doing everything for four rounds okay three exercises four rounds grab some water right now and let's get started All right, grab one weight. I'm just gonna start off a little lighter round one. We're doing a stationary split squat with a single side overhead press. Ready, in three, two, here we go. So you're low, press. You are here for 30 seconds a side. All right, again, with that split squat, you wanna tuck your pelvis under slightly and drop that back knee as low to the ground as you can. All right, when I picked up this eight pound weight, I thought, oh, that's gonna be way too light. I should have grabbed the 15. But you know what? Given all the compound exercises we're doing over this next hour, I figured that I should just keep it a little bit light to start, and I'm happy I did. Okay, shake that out. Switching sides. Whew, 30 seconds is still a long time. You're getting over 12 reps, so if you're normally lifting in that 12 rep range, this could be challenging. Ready? Here we go, drop the back. Press up, single side here. Good. Someone commented that they wanted some isolateral training, which is single side focus. When you're lifting even dumbbells, but both at the same time, um, your strong side tends to recruit the most and power that lift. So single side is good if you have a weakness in one side and you wanna begin to grow it a bit more or increase your ability. Okay, that's good. Moving to Gorilla Burpees. What, who thought of that name? I don't know. But, you're doing a split, split burpee, okay? All right, 30 seconds, we can do this. Ready? Now to modify this, you can do a reverse lunge, reverse lunge, step up burpee if you want, okay? Always options. Split, split, good. Just 10 seconds, keep going. This will be good for the heart rate. Burning for the legs. In three, two, and time. Whew, yep, that's good. All right, grabbing a heavier weight. Arm is gonna stay up toward the ceiling. You're squatting down, keeping that arm straight, touching the ground. 30 seconds aside. Whew. Here we go. Okay. Look at that arm, squat and touch. If you can't touch the ground, just get as low as you can. All right, try to get down, drop your glutes. Nice and slow control. Of course, you can lift lighter weight here. All right, rest that side. Whew work for the shoulder definitely and just control and balance isn't it take some work there other side in three two okay look at that weight keep control turn and squat down good yeah, that's work at the bottom isn't it We're heading back to that single side lunge with the press. So make sure you switch shoulders. Okay, on this one, just for round two. So I wasn't using my left on that last guy. Moving to right to give the left a break. Obviously. All right, ready? Here we go. Lunge and press. Of course, you could make all of this a little bit easier if you just lift a little bit lighter. You could also do a round with no weights if you're feeling like your heart rate's up too much. This is definitely a higher heart rate one with that burpee thrown in the middle. Okay, listen to your body always. In four, 
three, two, whew, shake it out. The head, put a 10 second break in between. I'm now glad that I switched it to 15. Smart thinking, Tracy, good job. All right, little pelvic tilt, shoulders back. Ready, other side, 30 seconds here. <clears throat> That's it. All right, halfway through. Stay tall, keep your abs engaged here. Whew, that is work for that arm, isn't it? All right, and time, moving to the Gorilla Burpee. Yeah, I did see that name on someone's channel. I don't know that it looks anything like a gorilla, but it's really hard. Maybe like a gorilla is hard. I don't, that doesn't even make sense. Okay, split, split, squat, split, split, burpee rather. Good, halfway through. All right, and time. Shake it out, whoo! That is good for the heart. Okay, switching weights to our single side. Shoulder hold with the squat. Here we go. Touch the ground, turn. Keep that arm totally straight. That's it. Keep that squat intact as well. You don't want to be leaning over to one side. 10 seconds. Whew. Shoulders burning. Just that hold. All right, switch sides. Whew. Good, is going. Hope yours is too. Get ready. In three. Two, here we go. Slow motion, this does not have to be quick, okay? Control and focus. Halfway. In three. Two, and time. All right, round three. Did I mention we're doing four rounds of everything today? Oh, we're doing four rounds of everything today. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay, stationary lunge. Hey, that is what start progressively overloads the muscle. If you're used to doing three rounds, if you're always doing three rounds times 12 reps, your muscles are not getting tricked, they're not shifting, they're not adapting to the load or the time under tension or the speed or the weight. You've got to switch that up if you want to grow. All right, so that's why four rounds today for us. In four, three, two, and time. I'm <sighs> just looking at my BCAAs going, Ugh, I need a drink. Okay, next round. I'm grabbing one. Switch legs, switch arms. In three, two, pelvic tilt, and start. Press. Woo, tippy. Good, halfway. In three, two, and time. All right, going on to those gorilla burpees. Quick sit for me. Three, two, and one.
15 seconds. I like to switch my lead leg on the lunge. That time. Whew. Let's work. All right, squat. One arm hold, turn. Get ready. And low. Remember, you're dropping both sides in that squat there. Not just the opposite side. Whew. All right, check it out. If that's pinching your neck at all, you can hold the weight right here, okay? You don't have to hold it up to the ceiling. All right, get ready, other side. Here we go. Counterbalance a bit, but you put it here wherever you like. Somehow today that feels good for me. More balanced, so that's good. 10 seconds. Remember, you're pushing through the heel to come back up in that front foot, not your tiptoe. Don't want to be targeting knees there. All right, switch sides. Till break. Woo. Burn on that leg. All right, get in position in four, three, two, start. I'll give you a little break after this round. Grab some water and we'll get set up for the next one. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, time. All right, gorilla burpees. Turn it sideways this time. See that deep lunge? Ready? Go. Slit, burpee. Done with a kettlebell if you have that. A little late, right? But hey, if you ever do this workout again, sorry, you should have said that in the beginning. 10 seconds. All right, rest. One more side, last 30 seconds, then a little break. Then moving on. Whew. All right. In three, 
two, and drop it. And last one there. Okay, grab some water, take a little break. And what I've just realized is I filmed the intro of this in 60 frames a second and I never switched, I never switched the camera. So if this is all like really clear and weird and when you watch this I can go slow-mo really well. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Okay, here's a look at the next circuit coming up. This water bottle, my mom bought my daughter for Christmas, and she showed me this the other day. She was like, mom, listen to this. Oh my gosh, I'm like, that brings me so much joy. She's like, I know, me too. So grab some dumbbells. Your first exercise in this circuit is a squat with a rotation and a shoulder press, all right? And we're alternating right there. Get ready, feet shoulder width apart, and here we go, your low, stand and turn. Low, stand and turn. So getting a shoulder press in here, getting some legs, and a little torso rotation. Good for abs and lower lumbar. Good, you're halfway through. We'll be holding these dumbbells for the next exercise, so don't put them down. All right, so front lunge with the rotation as well. Again, working torso and elbow to knee right there. If you can't get all the way down and you want to do it without dumbbells, that's fine. Ready? In three, two, and here we go. Front lunge, drop, elbow to knee, push back. Alternate, and switch. Good, five seconds. Nice and controlled on this. You don't tip. All right, set one weight down. You're on your back for a princess sit up with a dumbbell carry. One leg is straight. You're coming up, touching your toe, going down. We have 30 seconds aside here. All right, of course, eliminate the weight if it's too heavy for you. Leg comes all the way up. I'm touching the dumbbell to my foot. And then all the way overhead if I can. If you can't and you only can bring it to here, that's fine too. All right, not bad, hey? Fun, even, fun, even. Switch sides. If you wanna lift your weight up, next round, feel free. I'm using the eight, it feels fine for me. All right, get ready. Here we go. Up. And touch. Control the down. I really feel that extra tension on my abs from the dumbbell. I like it a lot. All right, good, repeating. Round two. Whew, if you're dizzy a little bit like I am, take a second, it's okay. Upside down is straight up is tricky. Okay, squat, thrust rotation. Here we go, low, turn, good. Of course, you want a higher heart rate on this guy. Lift heavier, power up through the glutes. That will do the trick. In three, two, 
and time. Front lunge, alternating front lunge with the elbow to knee. Weighted touch. Whew. Okay, get ready in four. Shoulders sore. Here we go. Front lunge switch. Halfway. All right, good. Watch your back again. Princess sit up, single side. All right, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Anyone else feeling that extra like tension in the upper abs there? Feels good. I certainly feel it though. Woo. Switch side. And rest at the bottom here. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. All right. Get ready, in four, three, two, and one. Let's do it, up. Remember, if you're feeling strain in your neck, feel free to eliminate the weight here. So we did exercises, two exercises in a circuit, 10 reps each for five minutes. Some of you found that a bit challenging because we go at different paces and that is why I like doing these timed um, workouts like this. So you do as many reps as you can in that circuit, I do as many as I do. But the nice thing about something like the five minute metabolic workout. Ready, princess sit up, here we go. Is that, you know, it's a good to challenge yourself, maybe to beat, beat me, how many reps I get, or how many, how, what your time is. Or if you're not quite as fast, to challenge yourself to improve, to get better. I know my sister said not too long ago, her and her friends do these workouts outside, and she's like, Wow, it was good for us to follow along because you go way faster than we do. And then she said like that was good for us to go, okay, we need to pick it up. So sometimes I'm faster, probably slower than some of you, switch sides. Um, but either way, I think it's good to throw that in once in a while. Here we go. Whew. Let's go, really pull that upper body up. Oh. And one more round of this before you get a break. Alright, 
Excellent. Take your time getting up if you need. Up, down four. Starting with that squat, torso turn. Ready? Here we go. Five seconds. Oh, good. Hold on to those weights for your um, hot lunge. Still snowing out. It's a shame. All right. In three, two, here we go. Got another harder cardio one coming up in our next round. Oops. All right, good. All right, last princess sit up. 30 seconds aside here. You need everything you got because you get a little break coming up. Here we go. Stay with that reverse lunge, but now you're adding a hop. So you're here, hop, here, hop. We are doing 30 seconds aside. That's gonna be hard. We're doing it though. Here we go. And hop. If the hop becomes too hard, eliminate it and just hit that reverse lunge. That's fine. That might be the case for me. We'll see. Drop that back knee. Drive it up. Good, 10 seconds. Holy, that hurts. Yeah, that is work, isn't it? All right, well, nobody said it'd be easy. All right, that was horrible, sorry. Here we go. Reverse and hop. All right, halfway. This is your big cardio move in this one, so make it count. Woo. Okay, good. Grab some dumbbells. You're doing a bicep curl combo upright row. So it's palms up, turn, row. Get ready. And here we go. Curl, turn, elbows high. 
That's it. Bring those elbows up. And the bicep is the palms up, not hammer. Turn all the way. Tap those elbows in by your side. And power up. Come on. Five seconds. All right, that's it. Put one weight down. You're doing a plank, full rotation. Spread your legs out. And you're coming all the way up, all the way down. This can be done from knees if you need to modify. Here we go. We have 30 seconds aside on this. Slow. Good. Not so bad, is it? Slow and controlled. We did this a little bit the other day with the side plank. And when we're lifting lateral, we're kind of doing a little bit more rear delt on this lift here. Okay, then side shoulder. So a little bit different. Woo! Switch sides. Get ready in three, two, Go. All the way up, rotate and down. You can follow that dumbbell with your eyes or pick a spot in front of you to stay focused on. Control the down. Again, modify this from the knees if you need or use a lighter weight. Good. Okay, going to that single leg reverse lunge with a hop. Anyone else sweating yet? I hope so. All right, we'll go this way. Here we go. Reverse hop, low. Halfway. Legs should be burning. Three, whoops, two, and one. One look at the camera and I'm a yard sale. Okay, switching sides. Gets a good burn, doesn't it? In three, two, here we go. on that action. Don't get sloppy because you're tired here. Three, two, and curl. All right, down to that plank rotation. Thirty seconds aside on this. In four, three, two, here we go. Control here. Halfway. All right, good. Switch sides. That one's not cardio, Mark. It's very challenging. 
me anyway. All right, in three, two, Control the top so you don't tip over. You've got to be strong in that shoulder. Five seconds. Good. All right, round three. Okay, here's your lunges. Drop that back knee. Give a little hop. I know it burns, me too. Come on. Oh. In eight, six, four, two, oh, one. Switch sides. Hard. All right. On this side, in three, Two, let's go. Eight seconds. Power through, don't stop now. Come on, almost there. Brutal. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. Bicep up right row. Ready? Go. Five seconds. Keep those elbows tucked in on the biceps. Oh. All right, two plank rotation. <clears throat> in five, four, three, two, and pop her up. Control. Halfway. Three, two, and time. Ugh. Other side here. In three, two, All right, good job. All right, last one here. Get into that reverse lunge. Very sweaty, ready? Here we go. Burning leg. Keep 
going. Four, three, two, and time. <sighs> All right, switching sides. In three, two, and drop. Ten seconds. Well, for glutes and legs, feeling this guy. Hard to hop. Okay. Leave those alone. Good. Let's go to that bicep upright combo. In three, two, and here we go. Palms up, elbows up. Immediately get your elbows tucked in close to your body so that you have a good bicep curl there and so that you're not using shoulder to propel that up, okay? Curl straight up, elbows come high, all the way down, full range of motion here. Good, in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last T-plank rotation, and then we've got one more circuit to do, okay? We can do it. We're doing great, everyone. Woo! It's feeling good anyway. In three, two, and start. Up and slow. Good. Ten seconds left. That's it, and reverse, reverse, switch. Don't reverse, how would you reverse that? How can you go backwards? We're already going forward and backward, I don't know. Let's forget I said that. All right. In three, two, and go up. Takes a lot of obliques and shoulder strength, doesn't it? Just to hold yourself up while doing that action. Ten seconds. In three, last one, and time. Okay, grab a drink if you need. Moving on to our final circuit of four. Okay, this next exercise is starting off with is called a sprawl frog kick. Okay, I'll show you the modification and the actual thing. So you're gonna be in plank position. Legs are gonna come up, sort of like your knees are gonna drag towards your elbows and then jump, kind of like that donkey kick. So you're gonna come up, back, jump forward, stand. Okay, so legs come in, back, forward, stand. I'll show you one more time. Try it with me if you want. So in, back, forward, stand. That's one, modify with a tap up, tap up, step, step, stand, okay? And then the other two exercises I'll show you on during the break. All right, so get prepared. 10 seconds, we will do 30 seconds of this frog, sprawl, sprawl, frog kick. Sprawl and then frog, ready? Here we go. All right, in, back, and stand. Jump out, in, and stand. Kind of fun, actually. Bring your uh, knees wide. Open up in those hips. I quite like that. I will be doing that one. Just in case you're wondering. Woo! I like it better than a burpee. Oh darn, it's over. Uh, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below if you like the new sprawl frog kick. Double dumbbell swing. Put those dumbbells together. We're doing a hip thrust swing right here. Ready? 
Here we go. Up. Reach hips back. Get legs wide. And power up with your hips. Fifteen seconds. Holding these same weights for a double dumbbell squat thrust. All right, time. Come on, mess after those sprawl frogs. Okay. So to keep stay wide, your squat, flip, press right there. Ready? Here we go. So large, uh, wide plie squat, flip, press, like you're clean and press. Hips power forward to help propel you up though. 10 seconds, and back to that sprawl frog. All right, rest. Should put my hair back. All right, this one's fun. Let's do it again. In four, three, two, here we go. circuit on. Here we go. Hips power forward to propel you, remember. Rest for a second. Going into that double dumbbell. Squat and press. In four, three, two, low. Flip, up. Halfway through. I like this last circuit. Might be my favorite so far. In five, four, three, two, time. All right, round three. Set those weights down. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Get that butt up, jump high, drive your feet forward. Five seconds. One more. Oh. Holy Hannah. It's hard. It is hard. Okay, double dumbbell swing. Here we go. Three, two, 
and time. Okay, squat and press coming up. Oh. It's getting hard. Ready? Three, two, here we go. Flip up. Ten seconds. In four, three, two. All right, last round. Let's do it. Let's hit those frog squats like nobody's frogger. That was dumb. <laughs> Just hop. Hop to it, ladies. Here we go. Jump high. legs. So no active rest in that one. It's going to all focus on uh, hypertrophy, muscle building. So if you want to join us for that next one, that is what it's going to be. And I like that as well. I mean, if you lift heavy enough, your heart rate gets up like this anyway, especially when doing legs, right? So I think it's a good balance to help build muscle. You don't want to just be doing high cardio all the time and burning all your muscle up. Okay, let's rotate up. So one elbow on your knee, grab the outside of the other leg and stretch. We did a lot of those little torso turns today. So just stretching out the torso. Max, come here. All done. I hear the tip tap of shoes. It's like he knows when I'm done. Hi, come here. All done, come here. Come here, don't be afraid. Switch sides. Okay. Come here, Max. Do you want to say hi to the people? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Stretch with mom. Yay. There's Max. <laughs> He's such a chicken. Oh, he's just a chicken, aren't you? Hey. The weights are, are scary for him. He won't stay there. Okay, let's bring our arm across here. <laughs> Told you. 
Good, just stretching that rear delt. Did a lot of shoulders in today's workout as well, wasn't there? Lots of legs, cardio and shoulders, that's what I found. Um, arms back, thumbs down, stretch those biceps a bit. I am a hot mess though, that was really hard, so. Now that cold snow looks inviting outside, in fact. Switch sides, bring that across. That's it. Excellent. All right, I'm just gonna do a little IT band stretch. I know the camera's a little bit close, but just cross one leg over the other, stretch the ceiling, and then hinge forward at the waist and fall down as low as, it you, as, low as you can. Just hold that there. Can you sort of see what I'm doing there? Sorry, I'm not gonna switch the camera for this, but I hope you get the picture. You're just hinging forward, knees are soft. You never wanna lock out your legs. All right, hold that there and a slow rounding up through the top, one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow so you're not dizzy. Let's switch legs, cross the other direction. Reach up, deep breath in, and slow exhale as you descend all the way down, stretching that IT bed in the back. Get rid of those shoes while we're here. That was great, everyone. I know it's Wednesday morning that you're receiving this, but I'm doing this on a Sunday morning right now. And uh, it's nice, because I'm gonna have a good coffee afterwards. Stretch right behind your back, tilt your neck to one side. Do a little blogging or reading. I like doing that on Sundays, but it's always nice to get a little workout in first too, so. Good. All right, well, excellent job, everyone. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you go ahead and click that red button down below. There's a little bell beside it. If you tap that bell as well, you'll get these workouts into your inbox every Wednesday and Saturday. And then lots of times, as you know, I've been doing a ton lately, um, other days of the week as well for a little bonus workout. Okay, thanks for joining me. That kicked my butt. I hope it kicked yours. As always, go and move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition.